So not only do I have one sketchbook for you guys, I have a second. The first one took us like 40 minutes to get through, 30 minutes, whatever. And this time we have one that doesn't have a bunch of writing on it. Um, hopefully it doesn't have my name all up in it either. Uh, the back just has scribbles on it. Uh, it says, actually, it says blood with some uh, crying and like the, the generic middle school, like or elementary school, like S. So we have sketchbook opening it up. This one's a lot more clean. I think this was around the exact same time. Oh, we have a gold mine. Um, I think this was around the exact same time as the other sketchbooks. So I'm going to guess either 2008 or 2009. That means I was either eight or nine, depending. So we open this. This was hanging in front of my computer for years. I was so proud of this. This is actually a wallpaper that I traced, but I was so proud of how like smoothly everything got colored. I, I was just, I was into this man. And then we have some kind of like Vulpix and Mew given smoochy smoochies. They were like my first gay lovers. Jumping right into it, we have Jean <laughs> and apparently 45. <laughs> okay. We have Buddy's Tricks. I had gotten my first dog ever and I taught him to do a bunch of tricks and this was just me drawing how, to f how he does them. So we got this fancy lettering. I was trying my hand at lettering because apparently I already learned shading and value and, and, and color and stuff. So I was like, you know what? You know what? Let's try poses. So I was, I was doing like anatomy poses here. He's rolling over. You can see where I obviously struggled to do his legs. I was gonna make his, I couldn't figure out the perspective or how to do the angle on them. So I made them like right here and then I made them like right here. And then I, I defaulted and was just like, you know what? He's just gonna look like he's standing but I have to write the word rollover so everyone knows that he's rolling over. Yeah, sit and stay. I drew him with a mustache in all of these. He, he looks like a little, sad little old mustache man. <laughs> and then you have speak um, and he's being very vocal. And then this one is uh, stand on back pause i think this is these are drawings of buddy these are drawing okay these are drawings of buddy's tricks buddy is my favorite dog he is the cutest dog around something and very adorable that's all i got for you a lot of these this is gonna be a lot of rotating and, and like twisting some stuff i enjoyed this series that was on about uh crypto the super dog and they were just animated little dogs. And I started realizing I could draw stuff that wasn't Pokemon. So this is probably gonna be a mixture of the two. So it's, it's his special attack and he, I think he like had an extendo tail. I don't remember too much about this, but the only reason I remember what he's from is because the next page had a really like, he's missing a limb, but he, he, there was like a little drawing of crypto. I'm actually, since, let's see how many, these have a lot of drawings on the back. So actually, instead of showing all of them, I'm just gonna keep flipping through it and then I'm gonna flip it around and do the other side. So this was a tiger. I remember sitting in front of the TV and drawing this uh, while watching an episode of Puka. <laughs> if you guys remember what that was. I was really, really proud of this because it had had good anatomy. It had square feet. I was trying like, like a square art style where I really like scribble scribbled into this. But I remember being incredibly proud of this. This, uh, <laughs> I don't know what was supposed to be going on here. I think I drew a head and then what I, what I, where I wanted the leg to go, but it F, <laughs> F for respects. I think there's supposed to be chibis, but this was definitely going to be probably either an Eevee or an Espeon considering this guy right here, but he's blushing. So he's, he's in love. We have a Gyarados and an Ammonite, and apparently I self-graded. This was from a coloring sheet that actually one of my uh, teachers had printed out for me because I like to color a lot. And I graded myself an A++ on it. We have Pikachu in jail with a couple piercings um, because I grew up incredibly, uh, <laughs> I grew up essentially under a rock. So this was my idea of what a jail cell looked like. So it was stone and then there was just bars and the inmates I, were apparently Pikachu <laughs> with a bunch of piercings. <laughs> Anatomically, I think I gave up halfway through this. I was like, this face looks fine. I really, you know, like I'm gonna put a couple piercings in here. Um, this is not even her eyebrow. This would just, I mean, I guess it would be, this would be like piercing the top of an eyebrow. Um, as someone who has a bridge, I find this really offensive. <laughs> like if you have like a tongue ring. <laughs> 
<laughs> an eyebrow piercing and two ear piercings and then I gave up on the rest of her body and I put a question <laughs> I put a question mark okay so the previous one was graded um and I apparently went through and graded all of them and I gave myself an f <laughs> f for failure because this pikachu is a failure okay I guess I was just practicing drawing vases uh, of my favorite Pokemon. So I had Lapras is looking a little bit sad. Um, Mew, uh, actually the saddest looking one was Jinx. I didn't even try. She's just, she's in a circle with, with some hair. Uh, and my dog, apparently my dog is a Pokemon. Apparently Typhlosion, uh, this Typhlosion looking a little bit sad too. Uh, this, these are, oh, this got A++. My grandmother actually drew this in here and I thought that was really sweet. She like left me a surprise in my sketchbook. She was always like super duper supportive. Um, this was uh, from a Care Bear puzzle that I tried to draw. This was where I was incredibly jealous that she drew these really cool flowers and I was like, I'm gonna draw these really cool flowers, but better. Of course, nine-year-old me would try to one-up somebody else. So. Um, there was supposed to be a Butterfree right here, but I guess I didn't like the fact that it was a Butterfree and I drew a Mew instead. Um, Mr. Pikachu and Mrs. Pikachu, and you know it's Mrs. Pikachu because she has eyelashes. You can see where I struggled to draw this foot. <laughs> Even in the background, it's this, it's this freaking butterfly! <laughs> it's this freaking butterfly again! It came back! And we have Mareep, who's really unamused. Um, I never like these flowers. Apparently Mareep's eating the flowers and Caterpie is just sniffing the flowers. I don't even know what type of flowers these are because they're not roses. They look like fists. I have to once again censor because I decided to put my name on this literal, this literal Aspion who has one ear. <laughs> <laughs> just like it. Okay, I think it's okay to do this name because I don't even remember. I don't think this was a real person. Um, this Umbreon is named Cameron and this Espeon was named after me and I don't remember ever like interacting with somebody named Cameron so I think, I think we're good. I love you forever <laughs> with their soulless eyes. <laughs> and it's like, oh, instead of drawing a full moon, I just did a crescent moon. I can't uncover this because again, name, but it's like our first day. And this is where I learned that like kids would, or that adults like met and like went out for dinner and stuff. And it was, I was, it was, this was supposed to be like, this was the peak romance. This was, this was my romance, Roman empire when I was like eight. <laughs> so apparently this Evie and um, Cameron had children. And so they're sleeping in the forest and it says Cameron, me and our two kids. And you can tell that this one's a girl because she has eyelashes. And they're definitely snoozing because it's z, 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 z. I guess this was supposed to be like their wedding picture or something and I never drew it. Nope, nope, I lied, I did draw it. I did, I definitely drew, okay, okay. <laughs> I did draw it. Um, thank goodness my name isn't all over this again because this is really awkward. I don't know why I said, this was this, this was my first self insert character. Everyone has a self insert character. This is my first self insert. <laughs> we've, we've cracked the code, boys. Anyway, this is them getting married with a sunset. He's wearing a cute little tuxedo, which is actually really well drawn for what it is. And I'm wearing apparently a tutu. Guys, you would never catch me dead in a tutu. Um. <laughs> I gave this one a grade of an A. Uh, this Pikachu is um, monitor. Or what is it called? Ordaining. Or <laughs> This is Pikachu is officiating. Uh, you may now kiss the bride. Apparently, I'm getting married to this random Umbreon, who I've dubbed Cam Cameron. As I don't even think that's how you spell Cameron. Cameron and me enjoying a sunset. I don't know why the art looks so much different here, or why the tail is like whatever. But I gave myself an F on this one. So apparently, I didn't like it when I was younger either. So uh, Cameron and um, this Espeon apparently had children. Uh, there's four of them. I thought they had. I thought they had two, but I guess they have four now. Um, you know how it works, right? They just go to the daycare and they just suddenly miraculously make an egg. I, <laughs> I can't tell if I rated myself 
or if I graded myself to have an F or an A here, but we're gonna go with an F. Apparently Cameron dies and I cannot show you this picture because Cameron is blur- uh, <laughs> I cannot show you this because Cameron is dying on the ground with a bunch of wounds all over him. And it's very not okay. <laughs> Okay, so this was just a test drawing, nothing fancy, nothing, uh, but I was starting to use the little um, curve thingy. This is me as a Pokemon trainer. This was my absolute dream team. And I only knew that this Pokemon existed because I had a card of, of it. I apparently, negative two C. Apparently I gave myself a, a C, but like negative two. So like does a negative and a negative make a positive question? This horrifying human art. If you can't tell, I was not used to doing human art. Um, I am a Pokemon trainer. This is, this varies greatly from the previous Pokemon trainer drawing. Uh, this Eevee's looking at me lovingly. This Pikachu has a collar. Uh, this Umbreon, it's just an Umbreon. He's actually really well drawn. He's got the little leggies. He's got the perspective going. I think this is Cherum, Truby, Truby? The, I, I'm gonna, I don't know. And then this Lop Bunny is an anatomical nightmare. She doesn't look like she gives you really good hugs. She looks like, um... She breaks her spine and hits you with it. Then we have these two cats. I feel like they're from something, but I have zero recollection of this. But it looks like a, like a mom and a, and a kid. This was before my Warrior Cats era, if you couldn't tell. Funny Pokemon jokes. You get it? The Pikachu is just wearing a hat that comes off and the brain is just his head painted like a brain and the blood is just ketchup. I don't think I was okay. <laughs> I don't think I was okay. I don't know if I can show this one. I couldn't show Cameron dying. I'm not certain if I can show the Pikachu. You know, it's fine. It's fine. There's no like actual gore to it. It's fine. You get it? <laughs> Question mark, exclamation point. She had so many kids and now she regrets it. You get it now? Question mark, explanation point. I need to, <laughs> I need to rethink before I have kids. <laughs> you heard it folks. 2024 um, advice from what looks like an espion without a thing on its head. Um, think before you have children. <laughs> Oh my god, this aged really well. I mean, I guess it works. It was a joke and it was supposed to be jokes and I, <laughs> I am laughing at it. <laughs> I really, I really wish I made these other two. I bet these other two would have slapped just as hard. I don't know what I was doing here, but I was drawing something with squares. This one is um, another anatomical nightmare. I think I was trying to draw a stomach at one point. But I guess not. Question mark? <laughs> Why did you have to get in that fight? Is this a bullet hole? <laughs> what kind of fights is Evie getting in? <laughs> I think the further I get into this, the worse it gets. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'm... You know, she's mourning her- she's mourning her son. I'm gonna skip past it. Here is where I got into anime and I learned about chibis and, and like, uh... So I was trying to mimic the chibi faces, but... We have the same generic scene, uh, from- from the start of the other one, where there was a high school and, uh, Espeon was sad. Espeon is still sad, but she has extra mascara on when she cries this time. And Umbreon doesn't seem to like this Glaceon, but this Glaceon seems to really like this Umbreon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this with a straight face. Ooh, ooh, um, uh, generic, generic scene. However, reflection. I did not know how to draw this reflection, but I tried really hard. <laughs> I think they're the same. Look at the, okay, so look at the detail on the shading. Like, I'm really considering where some of the shading would go in this. I, like, look at this, a little stone is even making a reflection on her head. That is so cool, like her uh, tail's wagging. I still didn't understand how to make tail wagging, but you know, uh, apparently the wag lines also show up in the reflection. 
<laughs> Apparently his tail's wagging here, but not in here. There's two sides to you. <laughs> There's two Umbreons inside you. One is wagging his tail and one is not. <laughs> But look at oh look at that okay so um different different shades also of green this one's like the the default foresty green this is more like a lime green so I was I was taking into consideration that the moon would make the grass yellow I'm so I'm impressed uh, apparently uh, this is this is my first like fully colored proper ship art between Leafeon and Glaceon but once again you can tell it's a girl because the eyelashes and the pearls. Uh but he's got a pink bow tie on. I actually think they are lesbian lovers. I'm gonna dub it right now. Uh, leafy on. And I made a bunch of leaves, a bunch of- uh, This shouldn't be water because she's an ice type, but it, you know, it's, it's whatever. I think this is really cute. I kind of want to redraw this one. This is an Eevee named Kelly who has a, a little stool. <laughs> Kelly has a little stool and a peace sign and a room. And she's got a necklace and a mirror. I did really good on the reflection on this one. I was like, ooh, reflections on the previous one. I did really good on the reflections on this one. Uh, let me get, this is what started it, and this is the outcome. Do you guys remember the Leafeon videos? It was like Leafeon, oh my god, they were just called Leafeon and Glaceon, and, and, and they had these high-pitched voices, and I was obsessed with them. I listen to these audios on repeat like 30 times per day. This audio like this vi like th this this video was banned in my house. <laughs> if I can find it and it still exists, I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to show you. Leafy, when you get off the walls, it hurts yourself. Leafeon, you are strange. But this is this was based on this. I mean, this was my first like fan art for a YouTube series. Mm, they smoochin. Uh, I don't think his face is supposed to work like that, but they're they're smoochin, all right. <clears throat> Moving on. Oh, we got family drama. Let's go. Apparently, this Evie was really um, uh, self-conscious because she was called ugly. Um, it doesn't matter how many people call you ugly. You're still my pretty little angel. And this Evie's like, it's really sad. This Evie says, mommy, am I a pretty little angel too? Am I? These little shits just want at the attention while this sad Evie is crying. Am I a handsome little angel? So those, these Eevees were apparently very gendered. Like you can tell because like her eyelashes are sticking out right there. Uh, <laughs> you're my little, <laughs> okay. So she's telling the Eevee that Eevee is a little angel and he's like, you're my little cupcake. I don't know if this is directed at his uh, wife or the Eevee, but sad, but apparently this Eevee was really, really sad. <laughs> Have the sun and the moon. I think this was the precursor to the split face, like, oh my god, I just drew on that, wow. This was the precursor to the split face, you know, where there's like one happy side and one like really, really sad side. Um, it's the sun and the moon and the lettering. <laughs> and they're, they're saying that they love each other, but they're yin and yang, so I was like... I think this is a very dynamic image. I enjoy this image greatly. This... Uh, really like plump Glaceon. She extra th It looks like I took the pencil and dug as hard as I physically could into this. Um, except Evie has really short arms and a bandana. I didn't even play Mystery Dungeon. This is the crazy part. Oh, we have a memorial piece. Not a memorial piece, but like, mm, we got it. Umbreon. Uh, <clears throat> Are you guys ready for a dramatic reading? Umbreon, angel of darkness, you evolved from love in the darkness. You have a love so strong to Espeon. Does she feel the same way? Tidbit. They have, they have been together for three and a half years. That's a world record. <laughs> Guess I thought that was a really long time. Espeon, angel of light, you evolved from love in the light. 
you have a love so strong to Umbreon. Does he feel the same way? I don't know what I was going for here. I think it's another like angel of darkness. Uh. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Um, we're gonna. We're gonna skip. We're gonna skip past this. Um. God. And we have this really poorly drawn Flareon. Um, I don't know why I stopped rating these and giving them grades halfway through, but this would definitely. And uh, I don't know what happened to him. He's a little bit sad. Oh, we have the same concept again, the sun and the moon and the same lettering. So I, I guess I, I guess I just wanted to redo it because I didn't like it. But look at, look at the shading on. Okay, so this is where the wind is like blowing. Uh, it's the same thing I was doing with the grass. No, no, actually I lied. There is a rating on this. I gave myself an F. <laughs> This is where like their fur was supposed to be blowing in the wind and it's over here too. And just... There was an effort for shadows as well, but I think it's also cool. I used the lighter green for the sun side and the darker green for the dark side. So I'm just, I just keep patting myself on the back. We have Evie's furniture shopping. Uh, uh, like household shopping. I think this is what say furniture. The Welcome to the furniture. And this doesn't say place, this is pulse. Welcome to the four pals. <laughs> uh, so they're meeting each other from a distance and it's for love at first sight. He's looking at this couch for, uh, apparently I, I knew what prices uh, furniture was back then because I were, um, he's looking at this um, $599.99 couch and this $444.44 table and this is $32.26 rug and this $10 painting. I don't know why I was so freaking specific with this. I gave this one an F2. <laughs> but the you know, uh, the whole drawing may have an F, but Glaceon's got an A in my heart. I think he likes me. <laughs> I'm, okay, so the center of this rug is supposed to be yellow, but it actually just looks like, like Theon pissed. I'm not very mature. And we got this um, anime Flareon. I don't, this was made with a paint marker of some kind, like Prismacolor markers, alcohol markers. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna dwell on this any longer. Oh, here is another um, important thing to say. Uh, this, here's another like visual example that I did not know what adulting was like because I thought that there were just coolers full of beer. And this is my first time ever drawing Anthros. <laughs> it's not bad for what it is, but it's not phenomenal either. <laughs> At least you got that blue makeup. I don't know how to deep dive on this. Just, this is it. Like the, visually, this is all you're getting. I, I'm not elaborating on this. We have Skitty in a room that apparently the, the dimensions and the physics and, and the logic and the you know universal law of this room follows Skitty. <laughs> because the wall <laughs> goes around her tail. This is another Skitty. Um, she has a little, this is actually really cute. I don't think this was traced. She's got a cute little bow and a cute little collar and she's playing with what I think is a, it, it's a, it's a cat toy that looks like her tail. So cute. Jolteon in some weird broken line style and then just an eyeball. Oh my goodness. 11, 29, 11. So apparently I drew this in the back of this when it was 11. Um, crappily drawn on bed. Now, if he was just blonde. I think this was fan art for Warrior Cats AMV. So, we got the first half of this. Instead of flip-flopping, well, I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do, and we're just gonna go through this backwards, upside down. It's... We have... <laughs> Apparently it was called Shadow Clan, but I was like, actually, actually, I can't mix Pokemon and Warrior Cats, so I changed it from Shadow Clan to Darkness Moon Members. I have the symbol drawn on my childhood bedroom wall, and somebody's gonna move in there one day and find it and be like, what in the, what is this? <laughs> So apparently, uh, the the leader was Zorwark. Zorwa's mom, shapeshifter. Zorwa, Zorwark's kid, shapeshifter. Um, I just have to blur this in editing. Um, and Umbreon watches over Zorwa. Someone named Jean. Absol. Playful type. Crush on. A I gotta edit this out. Uh, nightmare. 
but this is erased and I don't really know why it's erased, but it says um, Nightmare Mightyena Evolved. Er Oh, I changed it from Mightyena. Okay, so this was a Poochyena. Nightmare Poochyena evolves from- uh, involves into Mightyena. Also a crush. <laughs> doom. A hound doom. A hound doom. Crush on someone named Michelle. Okay, Michelle was a Vulpix that evolves into a Ninetale. Isn't a dark type, but likes to consider herself one. Ooh, Michelle was edgy in the clubs. It's not a clan, it's a- it's a club. Club symbol. I didn't like this one, so I redrew it. We have a really edgy Jolteon. I think that this is the same Jolteon. Hang on, let me see if I can. It's the same Jolteon as here. I just redrew it. I was like, I didn't like how that turned out. Not all of, there's not actually that many back drawings. We have what was going to be, I'm guessing a crying Espeon. Maybe it's the Espeon that was married to Cameron and maybe Cameron cheated or something. I don't <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, here's a back drawing. This was a fully drawn out room. Her this was an Umbreon who was a very girly girl Umbreon and her name was Rebecca. 20 uh, 83. Apparently she was 83. Maybe she played sports or something. She had a computer desk and she had uh, toys and a squirrel. Apparently she has a Jolteon boyfriend who says, oh, this is his jacket. <laughs> and the dresser, when they tell me I'm a really good drawer, she's got something over here that says, happy Valentine's day with a heart through it. And some kind of like waterfall painting. She's got earrings. Man, this, this Jolteon has got to be spoiling her. There's not that many of these left. Uh, I'm having to go there. There's not like all of these are just like blank. Ooh. We have <laughs> Skitty Noodle Skitty Noodle Skitty Noodle Apparently this is a this is a new ship. Um, I never finished coloring the Espeon, but um they're standing up and high fiving and her limb <laughs> I don't have to explain this. This is this is it, like Woof. If you can't tell, I primarily just drew their heads all the time. I could. <laughs> ah, it's a, it's a Mime Junior. This was actually really cute. It was done with like little markers. Something normal, something sane. Something that doesn't like oddly anthropomorphize <laughs> the Eevees. We have a little full pix. Yeah, the, okay, th this is the first time a Vulp or like a Pokemon that I've drawn doesn't have a name tag with somebody's like with like a freaking odd human name on it. It just says Vulpix. We have where I think I held three colored pens together and drew whatever this abomination is. I think this says swimming. <laughs> this is just a swimming a punch. <laughs> we have um, incomplete Pikachu. This was not drawn at the same time as this. One thousand, thousand, thousand percent. This was drawn way later. I don't know when. Probably like sixth grade. Maybe like fifth grade. Oh, is there- okay, so that I guess was supposed to be a redraw of this. But this was a- another <laughs> anthropomorphized- Oh, it's the one in jail! Hang on! This one, it's this, it's this Pikachu. It's the jail Pikachu. <laughs> it's her cause, I know it's her cause she still got the piercing. <laughs> oh, she got her nail, she got her nail did. Um, she's wearing a uh, nice little uh, green striped two top. Uh, her waist defies physics. Um, she's standing on twigs of legs. Uh, she's just, she's wearing purple, purple makeup. Um, this was a rebel Pikachu. We've got this polar bear. Or something that I ripped out of here too. We got this lovely polar bear. Um, I feel like this bear is from something and I want to say it's from Happy Tree Friends but I don't want to out myself as being insane. Um, I watched I like, like it's too late it's already there it's out in the open. I watched Happy Tree Friends in fourth third or fourth grade. I had unrestricted internet access. I should preface the entire video by saying that I had unrestricted internet access and it did <laughs> 
And I, in fact, did not know my limits. So yeah, um, I think this is the baby, the baby bear from Happy Tree Friends. Apparently this polar bear is falling off a cliff. Polar bear, polar bear, polar bear. Apparently if you say polar bear three times, a polar bear is supposed to show up in your house. It's got an F plus 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 plus. And a squirrel sledding. Love. I don't know the context. I think I had- I think one of my friends took my sketchbook and tried to redraw the um, Cameron- the Cameron wedding picture. <laughs> oh man. Oh, glorious. Oh, we've got Evie's new evolutions. Um, F. I gave- I gave it a rating of F. Um, the fighting type, uh, even though it looks like a turkey. Uh, and there's clouds all over it, and I don't- I, I don't know what type- this was maybe supposed to be a ghost type? Evie's new evolutions. We love it. Oh! Hey! Leafeon, but like spring type Leafeon, or like spring variant or something like that, where there's just a bunch of curls all over him and he's just being really cute and then I think this is supposed to be the- yeah, this is supposed to be the fighting type, Evie. And I drew fan art of my own creation once and never again. More of them. These two. These like this iconic couple. Ah! I have to rotate it again. Sajultion looks really elongated. Um I started learning to do the weird shadow thing where the lines touch, and I still do that in my art today, which is really cool. Ooh, we got watercolor. Let's go. Students. Um, this is a Pokeball. So I guess they're in like Pokemon school and they're all sitting on their individual mats. And we have an Umbreon named Justin and Evie named Millie. Oh, you know, their names are over here. So this, this guy's name is Luther. This Caterpie, which is a very poorly drawn Caterpie, is named Mason. I don't know what Pokemon this is supposed to be. A hopip? Hoppy. Yeah, it's a hopip. Uh, we got Lori. We got who's the Baneri? Zappy. And the electrode is named Randy. And apparently this Flareon is named Madison. I think this was the first time I ever messed with like paint. We got their little portraits on the wall. I think that's so cute. I rated this one an F too. <laughs> I Specifically, failure. I, I <laughs> special failure. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be shiny Espeon. Did not work out very well. I'm gonna do the same thing again. I gotta, I gotta block out the freaking name because, of course, I put my name on everything. Apparently, Cameron uh, and this Evie or er, this Espeon are now um, have a Leafeon that's jealous of them, and her name or his name is. Coco? Yeah! Okay, so Coco the Leafeon is jealous of their marriage, um, but he dies so it's okay. And the son has a smiley face and he's really heartbroken. <laughs> and we've got Melon! This is- oh, I predicted Melon- be Melon be smelling. Melon do in fact be smelling. Uh, she's- except this Melon is a calico cat and this is my Melon. <laughs> I gave this one an A. Let's read about Melon. Melon is a ragdoll cat. She loves to play fetch with her jingle jangle ring ball. She has had three litters with her boyfriend, Scat, which who was uh, named after the um, the little rat guy, little squirrel guy from Ice Age. <laughs> uh, she got the name Melon because when she was little, she was tiny, round, spotted, and loved to play with her furry melon on a string toy. She was adopted by a loving couple. They just got married two weeks ago and are not ready to have kids so they got a pet instead of having kids. I think I think Melon was internalized future me because that that's me right now. I don't want children so I have four cats. <laughs> and we're back to Tail Terrier. That was the entirety of this one. This one was um apparently this was a wild ride. Both of both of these were incredibly crazy and I'm just gonna leave you guys with that. It's just, just a moment to breathe. <laughs> Get over the cringe. <laughs> Overall, I was really, really impressed at my younger self. It's been a minute since I've looked at these. I didn't even know that they existed anymore. So I got my hands on them. And I, I just, and I enjoy it. <laughs>